Hi, Stefan Svartling here. In this video I will talk about the Light Me Neo Sync Box and the TV Backlight Kit. And at the end of this video you can also watch a longer color demo of this Light Me Neo Sync Box. So be sure to keep watching and I will tell you if this Light Me Neo Sync Box is better than the Philips U Sync Box. So let's begin. <laughs> The package was quite ordinary, but it contains everything you need to set this up. You get the HDMI sync box that unfortunately only can show up to 4K 30 FPS or 30 Hertz if you prefer. But I will only use this to watch movies and TV shows, so that will be perfectly fine for me. 30 FPS is enough for that. Also, this sync box is not compatible with HDR. So if you need to have HDR, this box is not for you. But I know that LightMe is working on HDR support. And you also get an HDMI cable in the box, that's good. And also this sync box can only have one source connected. So if you need to have Sony PlayStation for example connected and an Android TV box or something at the same time, then you can't use this box. But that is again no problem for me because I will only use this to watch movies and TV shows so I will connect it to my beloved Nokia streaming box that I have all my video and movie sources on so I only need to use one connection to this sync box that's good for me unfortunately though this package was delivered with a US power adapter but of course if you buy this box from your country you will get the right power adapter for your country but uh, this is not not a problem for me because I also have a Euro power plug adapter to connect to this power plug. So the power plug gets quite huge with that adapter too mounted so that's a bit of a hassle though. And in the package you also get two full LED light strips to be mounted at the back of your TV and these light strips has a 3M sticky tape so quite easy to to install and mount on your TV and you also get some fixing brackets for your light strips for the corners on your TV and you also get an excellent user manual it goes through all the steps you need to get this going how you should mount the light strips and how you should connect them to the sync box and it's and very easy to follow this user manual so the user manual was a surprise actually it was very good it usually is not as good as this one. As I said the light strips was quite easily to install on the TV. Just remove the 3M sticky tape and mount them on the back side of your TV. But it's important to mount them correctly after the manual. If you want to have the cables on the left side or the right bottom side of the TV you have to choose which you want from the beginning and follow the user manually carefully. I didn't use the corner fixing brackets I tried to mount them as good as possible without them so I didn't do so good corners on the back side of my TV unfortunately I think maybe it can be better with the fixing brackets but my television my TV is not flat on the back side so it was a bit hard to mount these fixing brackets so I didn't use them and also you get a better experience if you cut the light strips exactly as the user manual shows in the corner where they meet. I didn't do that as you can see because uh, I maybe will change these to another TV so that's why I didn't cut them. And also as you can see on the back side of my TV I already have some Philips U lights there but of course I will not use them because I can't connect them to this sync box so in this demo and this video I will not use those Philips lights. Doing all the connections to the light box was easy too. You just connect the light strips correctly. The side light strip to the side input and the bottom light strip to the bottom input. Quite easy. And then you connect the HDMI out to the HDMI in on your TV. And lastly you plug in your source to the source port on the sync box. That means that you should not have your source directly connected to the TV anymore. 
you should plug it into the sync box and go through the sync box to the TV. That means that everything you then watch from this source will correctly sync the colors from the TV to the backside of your TV's light strips. And lastly, you plug in the power adapter. Again, everything was very easy to set up. At first I thought this would be a very huge project to get working, but as I said, it was much much easier than I thought. LightMe's own app was very good. It has been recently updated, so it works quite good now without uh, some huge bugs. You have to add your Wi-Fi connection to this app, so you can do settings through the app to the sync box. But actually after that, if you don't need to do more settings, if you do all the settings you want and then you don't need to have your Wi-Fi in the settings of the app anymore so you can remove your Wi-Fi settings and also actually the complete app if you don't want to have the app that could be good for better privacy if you care about that in the app you can do stuff like for example how bright you want the light strips to be and if it should sync faster or slower or normal for example so if you want to have better reactions to what content you showing then you can have high i have it on normal because i think that works best you can also have on weak so it uh, moves a bit slower and don't change so much colors and this sync box can also sync the colors to music you are listening to and then it can use the microphone that is built in to listen to the music you are listening to and sync colors for what music you are listening to and you can have other settings also for music syncing very easy to do in the app itself again it's very important that you connect the light strips to the right porch and also in the app settings you should choose which side the light strip are on but also that is very easy to see when you follow the guide because you get colors to see if they work correctly on your tv's light strips so again very good manual and very good setup in the app Personally, I think this LightMe Neo Sync Box is great. I think you, if you only have one source and it's enough with 30 FPS 4K for you, then this Sync Box is much, much cheaper to buy than Philips Hue Sync Box. And please note, if you decide for Philips Hue Sync Box, then you need to buy very expensive lights and also a Philips Hue Hub. So this Sync Box, is much much cheaper and you get a lot more for the money yes you only get one source and it only supports 30 hz 4k and no hdr support and it doesn't support siri or home kit philips you do all that but uh, for a much much higher price the light me neo sync box kit only cost 120 us dollar and you find links down below in the description text where you can buy this so to me the answer if this is better than philips u i must say yes because you get a lot more for the money and it works flawlessly and it's very easy to set up now i will show you some demos first we will see some demos with different modes i don't use these modes because uh, that doesn't sync to the content you're watching you can choose different modes of lights that you you can use when you are home for example when you need to be relaxing or if you have a party for example and after that demo you get a very cool and long color syncing demo on my tv with these light strips mounted unfortunately i don't have a white wallpaper i have a dark blue in the bedroom where this tv is so the colors will not be as good as if you have a white wallpaper of course but you get what you get if you know what i mean so please watch these demos and see for yourself how good this light me neo sync box kit is i can highly recommend it and please go check the links down below in the description text okay 